Okay, so uh, where we left off in class, you guys had completed uh, your paper cuts for your fairy tale project, and then the next step was going to be using uh, cyanotype paper. So when you buy it, um, the one that you can get online really easily is the Sunprint Kit from, it's actually from UC Berkeley, it's developed at UC Berkeley. Um, so all you need is uh, in the kit, there is what is basically in this refill kit, which is just the paper. It's the cyanotype paper. And then it also comes with a uh, piece of plexi. So this still has the coating on, but this will peel. So uh, you can peel it off. Okay, so uh, when we're going to start our cyanotype, we are going to take the paper, which stays in a, um, a UV tight bag, and uh, I'm going to probably do two, just so it's a, yeah, no, I could probably fit it on one. So you're going to do blue side up, and then you are going to place your, could be objects, um, I did a paper cut, and then you are going to see, I'm going to see exactly what I'm going to put on here. I'm going to do a really quick sort of version of this. So uh, I did the story of Arachne, who was a young woman who basically got sort of the most rough treatment by Hera, although that is not a new story, if any of you have seen the... Uh, incredible show, Hercules, The Adventures of Hercules. Um, so I'm working a little fast because I want to, even though these, the lights in this studio are not currently UV, uh, they can still activate the paper, which is UV sensitive. Uh, ideally, you can do this outside. Um, I have UV lights in here in my studio for the plants that live in here because I don't have any windows. So uh, we are just going to arrange some of this and let's see. Okay, so just grab this. So basically, um, you kind of want the paper to go back to a white, like fully white paper. I'm going to put the, uh, the exceptionally handy plexi on it. And we'll just put that back down. Okay, so it doesn't have to be like a full single thing. It could be like an assemblage of things like this is. So I'm going to pause this here. I'm going to turn on the UV lights. And then we're going to watch it expose in a time lapse. <laughs> 